Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new reading vlog. This is going to be a very very fun reading vlog because I am mood reading. I'm just mood reading. No theme. No theme. I've decided I'm just going to be myself and have fun in my own way. <laughs> Which is through mood reading because I fail at a TBR. I just do. Also I'm wearing a wig. I'm never going to lie to you and say this is my real hair. I don't think it looks like my real hair but yeah um we're having a time with it i'm still figuring out how to use it because this is actually a lace front one and i had no scissors so i've actually tucked the lace in do people do that i do we do that around here messy girls do that me messy girl so in this vlog the first book i'm going to be reading is not a happy family by shari lapina <laughs> This is my, I think this is my first Charlotte Pina. And I've heard a lot of good things about this, but this isn't typically my thing. Let me just angle you up a bit. <laughs> this isn't typically my thing because I've said time and time again, domestic thrillers, not for Charlie. <laughs> and I am Charlie with a domestic thriller. What am I doing? <laughs> but this basically follows a rich family and they're having Easter lunch. And that same evening, the parents get murdered and all of their kids are suspects. Oh my god. <laughs> all of their kids are suspects. And we're kind of following this like rich person dynamic and all of the secrets and lies. I'm not far in. I am not far in. But I'm going to assume that it's absolutely none of the kids. Because why? It, it would be, it'd be way too obvious. It would be way too obvious. I think I'm on like page 20 or something. I am not page 16. I am not far at all. I'm not far at all. I've had other things to do today, okay? I finished Rouge by Mona Award. That was my priority. And I've started this. So I'm going to check in with you in probably a few days because I am shit at vlogging. And we will go from there and see what happens. To be completely honest with you, time has passed since I filmed my last clip and no I did not read the book. <laughs> I did not read the book that I showed you in the first clip. <laughs> I DNF'd it and then I read another book but you'll hear about that book in my wrap up that should be up before this, will be up before this. Um, so currently, just to keep this vloggy vlog going, I am reading The Maidens by Alex McCallides. I don't know how to say his last name, but we are following this murder case, essentially. Someone's been murdered and our main character, who is a psychologist, has been called up to just kind of go and see if everyone's okay, but she she finds it all a bit suspicious. She's like, you know what, I don't think, I don't think the boyfriend did it. So she starts to do some investigating of her own whilst also looking after her niece Zoe who goes to the college and we have all this stuff with a Greek tragedy professor we're kind of like suspicious of him we're suspicious of him he's very suspicious and the people that he teaches it's quite exclusive it's only women and they wear these like white dresses and they're really weird and they're called the maidens and just yeah weird weird it reminds me of bunny in some ways um i'm really enjoying it so far i'm not far in i think i'm like page 100 and something 116 page 122 currently on page 122 look at how hairy my arm is pcos life <laughs> and then the top of my arm isn't <laughs> We love that. Pink, hairy, pink, hairy. <laughs> so anyways, I am going to go read some more of this book and then I will update you. That will probably happen in a few days, maybe a week later. I kind of need to get this vlog up. But, peace. I have spent the majority of the day reading The Maidens and I am almost done. Like, less than 100 pages left. <laughs> And I have some thinkings to put out there. Uh, first of all, 
everyone seems to hate this book. And I think I'm about to find out why. But the journey so far hasn't been so bad. I have... I'm basically about to finish this book, so I would have finished it within a day. I started yesterday, so 24 hours, basically. And... So far... I'm not not enjoying it, but there is something that is bothering me. For a book called The Maidens, there sure isn't enough about the secret society in this book. We do not focus enough on these girls, and it just confuses me. Like, we are spending so much time focusing on Mariana and her past and just, like, her suspicions towards the professor, which is valid. He is fucking weird, and he really paints himself in that really like narcissistic, narcissistic way. I can see, I can see the light that she is shining on him. I can see the light that she's seeing him through. But I'm kind of like I think it would be a cheap cop outfit to be him. So we've spent literally on the back of the cover, and at the beginning of the book. We have this idea in our head that it's got something to do with the professor. And for it to actually be the professor, whilst it would make sense in the end, it would be a bit of a cheap cop out. <laughs> like I would have spent the whole book knowing, oh, it's him, and she thinks it's him, and then it ends up being him. I just feel like I wouldn't rate the book so highly if it was. But yeah, he's very suspicious. I don't like him. I don't like the way that he acts. And furthermore, back onto the conversation of there's not enough, like, focus on these girls. And it's like they're interesting. They are interesting. Secret societies are always interesting. That's something I love most about Ninth House because we actually dive into the secret societies and we focus there on the secret societies and secret societies are always interesting <laughs> give me my secret societies you're meant to be a dark academia please give me my secret societies uh, something i do like about this is that whoever this killer is they are like the zodiac killer or is it jack the ripper those two serial killers that leave notes or some kind of like um, clue with the bodies for the police to find. I always find that kind of killer really interesting and fascinating and yeah that's just like a little detail I like about whoever this person is in this book. The character of Moriana, I... I don't know if I like reading from her perspective. I don't know if I like her as a character. I'm quite conflicted. But on the other hand, I think she has something to do with her husband's death. Because, obviously... I mean... Ugh kind of a spoiler so I can't really say that but let's just say someone alludes to there being something um interesting about Mariana and her past and I feel like after I've read that my own suspicions the hamster wheel went like, yeah there is something suspicious about Mariana's past and I think she had something to do with the death of her husband at the point in the book I'm in this is not a spoiler because I don't know that for sure I'm just kind of going on like vibes but I really think she had something to do with whatever happened to her husband it's very vague we don't know much about that we just know that he drowned in Greece and he's gone and she constantly feels like he's with her and there's that like grief storyline just yeah yeah so that's it for my update we will see where 
it takes us i feel like i'm about to have a nap i feel like i'm about to drop if you can't see it i am tired the maidens has been completed and i have things to say oh okay i am way more satisfied with that ending than the ending that i thought i was gonna get i literally screamed oh my god plot twist plot twist because there was a huge plot twist at the end and i did not think the who done it was the one that who done it i did not think it was gonna be <laughs> that person and i had these suspicions around a certain character um after i finished my last clip and i was reading <laughs> i had these suspicions about a certain character they didn't end up playing out actually but <laughs> i just became suspicious of them maybe maybe we're just suspicious today but yeah it didn't end up being that person i was quite satisfied with the ending i gave it three stars <laughs> i gave it three stars it wasn't amazing or groundbreaking and i don't think it's a book that i'm gonna remember <laughs> i don't think there's like enough strong of a hold around this book so i can remember books that I really hated and DNF'd and I can remember books that I really hated and gave one or two stars and I can remember my five stars but anything in between that especially in the three star realm <laughs> they end up being quite you know meh forgettable so yeah I would say this is quite forgettable um in terms of the maidens I feel like this book is not appropriately named there is just not enough focus on these girls as you would expect with it being called the maidens but yeah that is all i have to say i am off to decompress a little bit i'm gonna do a little bit of decompressing and i think next i want to pick up either middle game where i left off from that or start vera one's unsolicited advice for murderers but then i'm also thinking of starting the third finley donovan well that's like i've already started it and i put it down it's like a dnf like a soft dnf but i feel like i'm in the mood for something cozy so we'll see we will see i have officially decided that i am done with the middle game I just don't get excited to pick it up, so I put it away, thinking that it is now time to unhaul. Yeah, it's time to unhaul, <laughs> but I'm currently reading two books, House of Hunger by Alexis Henderson, author of The Year of the Witchin, one of my favourite horrors of all time. I don't have much to say on this book, so we're just going to skip right to the next one, which is Eclipse by stephanie meyer ah eclipse oh my god as you know i posted a new moon reading vlog if you haven't watched that i will put it in the description box below but but we all know i hated it and i was like do i even want to continue with this series turns out turns out eclipse is for me <laughs> and i'm really enjoying it i read like over 200 pages in the car today uh on the way back from a party and <laughs> i'm just loving it so things i want to talk about that one scene also yeah as i said in the new moon vlog we're past like not spoiling twilight everyone's read it we can just talk about it candidly that one scene where Jacob kisses Bella, sexual assault. I don't make the rules, that's sexual assault. She said no, he just pushed and pushed and pushed throughout this entire book. And then he's like, oh, but I thought you might have wanted me. Huh? And she's like, you're Delulu, you're deluded. And then when she gets back to the house after hitting him for assault in her her dad's like oh yeah fist bump jacob 
wow, yeah, go you for kissing my door. And I'm just like, she didn't want it. She didn't want it. She didn't deserve to have that happen. So yeah, Jacob just pisses me off as a character. You all know my absolute hatred for Jacob. Bella is being a cringe. The part I just read, which I am nearly right at the end of the book, part I just read is where she begged Edward for his vampire dick. And I was just sat there like, why are you crying? Why are you crying begging him for sex? And then the weirdest thing happens because he's got this thing about, oh, I need you to marry me. She's like, oh, I will let you get me that car. I will let you pay for me to go to that Ivy League college. I will marry you. Just please fuck me. Like, you took back your boundaries just for sex. And now I'm wondering what Edward's dick looks like. Is it just like, to Bella, it must be some magical, unmissable, irresistible thing. <laughs> but like, is it sparkly? Does he come sparkles? Is that why she's crying and basically begging on her knees for a vampire dick? Mm? Mm? And then he's like, oh... I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Your fragile human body. And I'm just like, Edward, please. Why are men always like, oh, I just, I'm so big. I don't want to hurt you. Ugh. <laughs> I hate it. So yeah, that is where I'm at. It is cringe. It is cringe. And I can't sit here and say this is the, I can't even say this is good writing it's just it's mediocre it's mediocre writing honestly it's so of its time and like but it's the kind of book that's laced with crack she laces it with crack like it's a drug this whole series is a drug and it's like a train crash that i can't stop watching <laughs> so i'm just unapologetically enjoying this book i mean as i said today alone i read over 200 pages and i was so engaged the whole way through i'm just i'm loving it i'm loving it and i can't wait to pick it up again i can't wait to finish this book and move on to breaking dawn which allegedly is the worst one but honestly new moon it can't get worse it can't get worse than new moon come on it it can't like, it can't. Stephanie Meyer, make it worse than New Moon Challenge. I have just finished Eclipse and I gave it 3.5 stars. Listen, my enjoyment factor of this book was, for the most part, a four star. But I felt like at the end it went a little bit, a little bit dry. So I decided on a 3.5. But just know that I really enjoyed my time with this book. Obviously, there were things that I was a bit like, oh my god, this is so annoying. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. And more Jacob. <laughs> and of course, Bella. Bella just grinds my gears. Bella grinds my gears. But I can't lie and say that I didn't have the time of this book, this series in general. I'm just really enjoying it now. More so as an adult than as a teenager. Because I just, I just wasn't really... A big Twilight fan <laughs> when I was a teen but I have finished the book and honestly I could just go into the next one but I don't currently own it so I will pick that up this month maybe we'll have a little vloggy vlog of me finishing out the series I will try to make that completely spoiler filled but as of right now <laughs> I don't have many I don't really have many thoughts I can't lie I don't really have many thinkings around around this book but I am about to start a new reading vlog where hopefully I will be reading Chin Gold by Cassandra Clare I'm just kind of in the mood for these kind of vibes right now and I'm also reading House of Hunger I'm currently a hundred pages into this 
um, which is where I left off with my last clip telling you that I just don't really have anything to say about it. I don't have anything to say about it yet, but I'm sure I will soon. So that is it for this little reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> I know it was a little bit all over the place, but do you know what the best things are? 